Welcome back to Patch Notice. I'm your host, Jackie. And today, Valve have dropped an interesting update for CS2. Interesting being the keyword because of this major change. Tagging has been updated inside of today's patch. Now, at first glance, you might think the 14th of August update isn't that substantial, but I'm going to show you why it is. Valve say that they've slightly delayed the tagging effects to reduce instances of players experiencing teleportation when taking damage, aka teleporting back round corners after dying or being shot that people have been complaining about in CS2. They say that this will result in a smoother experience. However, as you'll see on screen, players will now have slightly more time to move at full speed when receiving damage in CS2. The delay can be adjusted on community servers with a new CVAR that's been added, SV underscore predictable underscore damage underscore tag underscore ticks. By default, it's two, meaning two ticks before the damage slow is applied off the back of tagging. On screen behind, I've been showing off different weapons tagging capabilities before and after patch comparison. As you can see collectively, it's slightly faster now meaning people are hypothesizing that you'll be able to combat orb, dip inside and outside of combat a little bit easier after tonight's update. A pretty interesting one. Let's see if it changes up the meta at all. Meanwhile, they've also fixed the annoying bug that people have been using where you could have a free war hack by planting the bomb with a bugged plant animation outside of bomb sites. They also fixed the revolver barrel rotating erroneously, which means incorrectly for those of you out there. Following on from that, we had optimized loading times for both the settings and play menu. Pretty cool. Thank you Valve, we'll take that one to the loading time bank. Lastly, it's just again some community map changes. Mills, my hometown of the Netherlands, features again on screen with a couple of community updates here, resolving some visibility issues, smaller gaps, and again, some little boosts that have been a bit of a pain in the backside for cat food. Outside of that, Pool Day also had some overhauls to the locker in which you can switch between the 1.6 version and base version alongside some minor tweaks. But that's it for your patch notice. I hope you've enjoyed it, so get back out there with a new tagging in mind.